WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very sunny and pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we sort of have a mixed bag out there. you got all the U.S. indices. They're trading the upside, but if you look under the covers of the S&P 500, not the same. you got the Dow up 324 points, S&P up 43, NASDAQ 100, 277, Russell's up 18. Uh, you got the semis up 100, I'm sorry, 87 points, nearly 2%. Trannies are up 107, about 7 tenths of a percent there. you got gold trading off about $10 at 22 299 silver's down 28 pennies she's printed out at 26.56 our lights recruit is off about 50 cents trading out at 78.49 natural gas is up two pennies the 30-year treasury up 15 ticks print out 115.19 let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart we begin with the ES Mini upper left hand side. Price is trying to take on resistance. Resistance is at swing point high at 51.54.25. We're trading right now at 51.35. If we do close the day above 51.54, that'll trigger an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. 52.27 would be its initial price target level. As long as the spot volatility index remains below its 50 day exponential moving average, the 50 days at 15.13, the spot right now is trading out at 14 bucks. More likely than not, Price is going to go target that lower Bollinger Band. That's a 50 to 1 reading there. And if that, in fact, happens, we should see the S&P 500 or the ES Mini move higher. If we take a look at the NQ, its resistance level is at 17,949. We're trading at 17,929. If price is able to close above that, it'll trigger an A to B equals CD pattern. 18,222 would be its price target. But it does have resistance, the top of its profile, at 18,089. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it found support so far this morning at both the bottom of its uh, daily profile and basically the buy zone of the weekly profile. The buy zone of the weekly is between 103.49 and 104.31. We take a look at Goldilocks. With the U.S. dollar moving lower, well, gold hasn't moved higher. Gold is just consolidating right now in between its weekly profile. That's between the range of 22.78 at support and resistance up at 24.48. If we take a look at silver, it's testing a weekly profile level of support at 26.51. That's coming from my white background system. Right now, we are trading out at 26.54. If price closes below that, I'd say the A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. That is a price projection. 24.82 will come back into play. If you take a look at Lightspeed Crude, it has attained, or very close within pennies, its one-to-one -one A to B equals CD price projection. That says, if we do get a bullish reversal candle, that would form a Gartley buy pattern. Otherwise, price is likely to head lower, with 76.48 being the next price target. Consolidation inside natural gas as well as inside the trip. Folks, stay tuned if you would for the Trader's Edge Show. Be the start. Have a fabulous one, and we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.